What's up guys, this is Christopher Carrington with another GMUstudent.com and today we are going to start coding. We are going to be writing some JDBC code that will take us from the project that we built to the driver. So I'm going to explain this a little bit before we jump into the code. But basically, as you can see, we created this JDBC project and we put in this driver and previously we had our MySQL MAMP set up. So currently, right now, we have a project, we have a driver that's inserted into that lib folder, and we have a database. And what Java does is it utilizes this driver to connect from the project to the database. But we can't just utilize this driver by putting it in our lib folder. Every single time we want to use that driver, there's a little bit of code that we're going to have to write. So if you just think of this flow, it's always going to start with our project. So here's our project, JDBC. So this holds everything that we have. And then we have our driver, which is, um, which is in that lib folder. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to make the connection from this project to the driver. Okay, so we're going to write that bit of code that will make us connect from the project to the driver. And then in the next tutorial, we'll learn how to connect from the driver to the database. All right, so I hope everybody understands what we're going to do. So now let's do it. So as I said, we want to connect from the driver, I mean from the, um, from the project to the driver. So what we need to do is we need to go into our Java resources. And I have a package in here called com.gmustudent. You can call it org.whatever your URL is, or you can call it com.gmustudent and give me a little bit of a shout out in your own home computer. But anyway, just uh, make your little package. And now we're going to create a new class within that package. And I'm going to call this class implementation. You can call it whatever you feel like, all right? So obviously in this class, we're going to need a main method because that's how we're going to be doing all of our JDBC connections to start out with. So I'm going to make this big and I'm going to type my main method. So just public static void main string args. Okay, so now let's figure out what we need to type to get from this project to start utilizing that driver. Wake it up and start using it so that we can make that connection. In order to wake that driver up and start using it, just follow along with me, write this code, and then I'm going to explain it, all right? So come up here, let's do an import, and type in import java.lang.class.foundexception. And then within the main method, give me a try and a catch block. In the try, just type in, just type all this and I'll explain it later. System.out.println and let's type in connecting to driver. And now let's write the actual code that will make that connection. So type class dot for name and in there let's type in um, com dot my sql dot jdbc dot driver and after this let's type in system dot out dot print ln and in here let's type in connection successful and in this catch block, let's type in class not found exception. So we want to use the exception that we imported here. So that's why we had to import it. Let's type in error. We should start getting some color after that. Okay. So now our try catch block looks regular. And now let's print out to the console what that error would be if it ever happens. And let's just type in error space plus error dot get message okay I know this was a lot of code let's run it and then let's explain it in this video we're just gonna try and figure out what we just wrote so I'm gonna run this code and I'm gonna run it as a Java application so click OK and in our console we say connecting to driver and we see connection successful. So that means everything worked out. And I really hope that's what you guys see. 
And the reason we know the connection was successful was because if there was an, um, oh, how do I get rid of this? Type that. Okay, let's just put it down there. Um, open that, double click it, double click it again. Sorry about that. So what this is saying is that if there was an exception thrown on this line, then it would have printed this statement out and it would have never printed connection successful. So we know that it worked because connection successful was actually printed out. And what is this doing? This is waking up that driver and it's saying, hey, I want to use this driver and I want to make it in my SQL driver and I want it to work for this project. And that's why we typed in com.mysql.jdbc.driver. So this is saying it's a MySQL driver and I want to use it with what we imported right here. So, just so that you know that this is actually doing something, let's do this wrong and see what happens. Let's say if we forgot to put in the Q and the L in here, and let's just say we had a simple typo. What do you think would happen? Let's save this and let's run this. And you will see error and it will say that this driver is not found. It doesn't know what this driver is. It doesn't see that class. This is a problem. And this is how you know it's actually working. But when we type in the right thing and we run it, it says connection successful. Before, it didn't say connection successful. It stopped. So what we just did, again, is we made our connection from the project to the driver, and now it's going to be a MySQL driver. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to make the connection from the driver to the database. And then we're going to start having the flow go through really well, and we're going to start writing all kinds of queries. So the next step is making the driver to the database connection. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful, and I will see you in the next tutorial.